discuss uh, 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 right now. So I'm going to be I'm going to be brief. If you, if, if you have some quick questions, I want I want to um, be able to address them. And um, but I'm going to have to keep it tight. So if you got a question, keep it tight. I'll get answered. Uh, uh, City Council just approved uh, an emergency uh, order declaring a stay home, stay safe. Uh, period of 14 days starting at 1201 on uh, Sunday morning. So that would be Saturday night, Sunday morning uh, here in the city of Columbia. Uh, it's a recognition of, of, of our uh, mutual responsibility uh, to try and do our very best to uh, slow down the spread of the coronavirus that's affecting uh, the entire uh, world as we speak. Uh, just here in the United States yesterday, uh, those deaths climbed over um, 1,000. If you think about that in context, just a few weeks ago, uh, there were only 15 uh, known uh, cases here uh, in this country. Over the, uh, I know the governor's actually having a press conference right now, so I'll we'll get the updated information from DHEC um, uh, post haste. Um, but just uh, yesterday, we know there were well over uh, 400 cases identified uh, in this case, with still very modest, modest and moderate uh, testing. Uh, we expect uh, that every uh, public health trend, every epidemiological trend that we've seen, uh, we expect that to double over the next few days and then to double again and then to double again and depend on what experts you, you rely on. If it's uh, uh, those affiliated with the University of South Carolina that submitted some information uh, indicated that there may be up to 50,000 cases in, this, in the state or, or DHEX numbers issued yesterday that showed over 8,000. It's too many. Uh, and, 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 to, and to some who might suggest uh, that, um, that we ought not do everything we possibly can to try and slow the spread of this virus, to, to try and preserve human life, I would say that the people of Columbia and certainly the city council disagrees. As we weigh our priorities, um, our concerns, our hopes, our, our, our fears, our Every single major um, concern that we have over here still continues to be uh, dramatically outweighed by the potential loss of human life. That is our concern. And we want to make sure that we are beginning to encourage a uh, paradigm shift in the way in which we think uh, that tries to help determine the public health of the, of the Midlands of South Carolina. We will work together to flatten uh, the curve. We will be making investments uh, throughout this community, as many of you know, through our Resilient Columbia uh, plan. Uh, as, as well, a six and a half, six point two five million dollar plan uh, designed to keep uh, several of our uh, uh, small businesses afloat, strong, and cash flowing. So when we get through this crisis together, those businesses will will still be strong. We invested heavily in our public safety, our, our first responders, and our frontline workers to make sure they have the tools that they need, and we are able to come out of this again as a city stronger than ever. We're making some strong moves forward also with testing. Uh, we, we believe very strongly uh, that the work being done by DHEC and Prisma and others is important, but that we need to aggressively complement those th that work by investing heavily in, in testing. And our city will be uh, moving forward uh, with a, a contractual opportunity to help uh, uh, make testing available, not only to our first responders, but eventually also to, to others here throughout the city who are, who are going through this along uh, with us. With the belief uh, that um, testing gives you data, uh, that data gives you intelligence, that intelligence allows you to make even smarter uh, policy uh, decisions. We'll continue moving in that vein in the interest of the public. We're going to uh, have our uh, police department continue to do the work that they're doing in a very common sense and compassionate way. We, we, uh, and, and this is a stay home, stay safe order. There's a, uh, and I want to encourage people, and all of you who are covering this from the media, encourage people to go to ColumbiaSC.gov, ColumbiaSC.gov. If they have questions, you call 803-545-3300. Uh, and, and all the questions uh, will be answered as to which essential businesses and nonprofit services are, are, are still open for business, are still working to meet the needs of our families, and all the other optional things that we like to do. We're encouraging folks to stay close to home, continue to enjoy this time with their, their, their families, our parks, We'll continue to be uh, open. We're asking people to to, in, to 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 enjoy the parks and enjoy beautiful weather like this, but also to make sure that our social distancing norms are adhered to. Uh, this is going to take our, our collective action. Uh, if 
uh, we're, we're, we're lucky enough and blessed at some, at some point the governor uh, will, 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 will uh, consider this on a statewide level. Uh, we're, we're happy to, to, to pair up with uh, Charleston and, 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 and we can uh, consult by two other cities uh, just today for considering uh, additional action as well to make sure we keep our citizens safe. I do believe that um, this is an incredible city. I believe this is an incredible state. And I still believe this is the greatest nation in the history of the world. We are about to go into one of our darkest periods in, in the last 100 plus years. We need to be prepared on the front end uh, to do everything we can to save lives. I'd be happy to take your questions. How strictly is law enforcement going to enforce this? Our, our, our law enforcement officers have been, again, common sense and, and, and compassionate. Uh, even when we first initiated the curfew the first night, uh, they had um, 30 um, uh, verbal warnings, uh, and, and even over the last several days, they've only issued three citations. People have been very compliant. They, 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 people have been doing their part. We need everyone to do more. Uh, and, and at the end of the day, we're, we're, we're going to do everything we can to save lives. But they're going to be common sense. These, these are men and women who, who very frankly, every single day before the coronavirus hit America, uh, put their lives on the line, they run towards danger. They've, tra they've been trained well to handle these situations. We have to make their job easier, and, and that's what we're going to do. Listening to the governor right now, he has yet to issue a statewide mandate. So, basically, he feels like I'm going to leave my friend. We, 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 we're, we, we are bound um, by, by the boundaries of the city of Columbia. We, we've engaged with our other municipalities in the county and also with the uh, with some of the municipalities in the county and also with the with, with Richland County, asking them to join us in this effort. We will continue those entreaties, asking them to do so because I, I do believe uh, in consistency. That's why our ordinance is modeled very much after Charleston. I believe that it actually may serve as, a, as the uh, platform for a model ordinance that other cities will also take up across the state. It's the governor's prerogative. Um, we, we, we have led from the front on this issue. We have, we have not paid attention to um, uh, political desires or, or, or even uh, personal desires. We follow the data. Uh, good data allows you to make good decisions. We have never seen anything like this in over 100 years in, in, in this country. It requires that thoughtful public health professionals uh, be listened to and that, and that, and that elected leaders uh, enact policies that help us slow down the curve and the spread of this virus and certainly um, save lives. That's our goal. Hopefully the governor will follow suit. Uh, I'm not sure if he will. Thank you. Once again, this uh, ordinance? Uh, it's 14 days. 14 days starting at 12 on one on, um, on Saturday night, Sunday morning. Why wait that long? Uh, I think giving people an opportunity to adjust accordingly. I think that it's a, it's a um, it's important that, that we be sensitive to everyone's business needs, so that's what we're trying to do. Are you taking this week by week, or is it going to be... This will, this, will be this will be... Well, every, um, every public health professional says that we're, we're still climbing the mountain. We've not, we've not peaked here yet. Uh, we expect these numbers to, uh, uh, to grow. We're going to see increased testing nationally and also statewide and certainly here locally uh, that, that will give us more data to inform our decisions as we go along uh, with this. But we're not going to um, uh, be caught um, uh, with our guard down. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna uh, revisit this in two weeks and be able to make some more informed decisions with more data. Gotta get back to the council meeting, y'all. Thank you very much, all right? God bless you.